you know, he was going to fight AJ, and then the, the, the last minute, suddenly he's fighting Deontay Wilder. It's Wall. diabolical, isn't it? Big John blasts his son. He describes his son's decision to duck the AJ fight and go ahead and fight Deontay Wilder for a third time as diabolical. Can't say I disagree with him there. He said he told Tyson over the phone to dump the belt and head over to the UK and sort out the AJ fight. <laughs> Tyson wasn't listening to him apparently. He didn't like the manner in which the contract situation, the signing of the contract was handled live on TV and all that. <laughs> like I said in my previous video, that, that, that was pretty weird. Especially considering the circumstances, that was very, very weird. Bizarre even. So you see all that's going on with the, the boxing world being upset with this disgusting fight <laughs> taking precedence over the undisputed fight and you come and sign the contract live on TV. Very bizarre chain of events and we're seeing Wilder just sign the contract a day after the, the ruling of the judge. The whole thing is just very strange. Some people to this, <laughs> to this, to this day, day. They're still giving Tyson Fury a pass, giving him the benefit of doubt, saying, oh, Tyson Fury is probably, probably wasn't aware of what was going on and he was in the dark over the whole situation. Okay, if you're going to give him that benefit, how about the fact that he seems to be playing the game along with Bob and whoever's decision this was? He's trying to play the damage control game, trying to sell us this Wilder fight. He's not all over social media saying, oh, my promoters messed up the AJ fight, blah, blah, blah. I really wish I got to put my hands on it. He's, he's not doing any of that. He's not even talking about AJ anymore. He's onto the Wilder fight. He's trying to sell us this Wilder fight. So he's definitely complicit. He's complicit. Stop giving this guy a pass. Let's go, Big John. Preach. Let's hear it. Why wouldn't you take a $20 million step aside without fighting? and a guaranteed shot at the winner when you're fighting for a lot less money than 20 million dollars and you're risking getting your skull caved in again it don't make sense i think we've established by now that there was no 20 mil i don't i personally don't believe there was a 20 mil offer that never happened there was no offer there was no conversation there was no step aside the um, discussion had so let's just leave that where it was so let's leave that as crap the only place we've heard that 20 mil stuff was from tyson fury's instagram story I, I haven't really heard who else has mentioned 20 mil apart from tyson fury on instagram no one so yeah i don't think there was any step aside conversation had at this point most people believe both teams were in this were in talks this entire time most people believe this whole thing was contrived so if the thing was contrived What's the point in having a step aside conversation? It doesn't make any sense. There was no step aside. There was no 20 mil. Fairy tale. Lies. Now, there's rumours that Wilder did ask for a certain amount of step aside money, an extortionate amount, you might say. But, but is that true? Did he ever actually make that clear? No. John feels complacency might get the better of fury against Wilder this third time. He feels he might take wilder lightly and end up getting beat he feels the glitz and glamour and the, the vegas lights the massive suites the miami trips and all of that is getting into tyson fury's head he feels he's surrounded by a bunch of yes men man. like we all felt like we all felt stroke feel about deontay wilder so two peas in a pod i guess if fury's got yes men around him it is quite possible he might get complacent he might get complacent because we see his new coach i'm surprised and i'm shocked i'm seeing him doing all of this quote-unquote fun stuff for Fury. It seems like they all, um, yeah, certain times it's a bit suspicious with all the, the, the glasses wearing and the, the jumping on top of tables, the, the guitars, the, the the air guitars. It's a, it's a bit, hmm. While watching Big John speak, though, a part of me is thinking, if he was out there in America with him, would he not be singing off the same hymn sheet or would he be saying what he's saying now him spilling the beans well from his perspective i believe it's, it's partly to do with the fact that tyson's probably not listening to him his advice so he's a bit frustrated you know at the fact that he's not on the inside inside if you get what i mean so he's just letting us know how he, how he truly feels i'm quite glad though we have someone from that camp telling it as it is and if you notice when when the truth is being told <laughs> in what went wrong here not once was eddie hearn's name brought up the only way eddie's name would have popped up is 
if Big John was still trying to play the, the damage control game, trying to do the blame game, trying to shift responsibility, that's when Eddie's name would have came up. Like Frank Warren and, and Tyson during his Twitter battle with AJ. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Eddie did nothing. Eddie, <laughs> Eddie put the fight together. Eddie put the fight on. Anyways, AJ responded to this interview on Snapchat. He's loving this interview. He loves it. He says he wants to have a pint with Big John. Check out what he had to say. I got a lot of time for this interview. Good listen. Some massive statements have been made if you listen carefully. I want to sit down with John Fury, have a Guinness and talk fighting. That was AJ's statement. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, Joshua, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. Big John ain't going to sit down with you and have a, have a pint. Tyson cancelled Peter Fury and what, what was it, Mick Hennessy? And I think Huey for visiting David Hayes gym. If Big John has a pint with you, Tyson might cancel his dad. <laughs> Massive respect to Big John though for telling it as it is during that interview. We needed to hear all of that. It might not be completely factual because I don't I don't assume Big John is on the inside and knows exactly what's going on. But he he knows he knows enough. He knows enough. He's he's Tyson's dad at the end of the day, so yeah. Drop your thoughts on the comments section. Like, give me that like as usual. Subscribe if you're new around here. Notification bell have that on so you know exactly what's going on. Twitter question marks UK. I'm out.